Hi, I'm Laura with RedDesertViolin.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate an exercise that I've used for myself and for my students uh, to help correct double jointedness or just to help strengthen those weak joints so that they don't cave in when you don't want them to. Um, double jointedness, if, you, if you've got them you know it. Double jointedness is where your fingers, see that? They go into weird bent motions and the thumb caves in right there and it the thumb and pinky just create real problems on the violin if you've got those weak joints. So this exercise is going to strengthen exactly those joints if you do it right. The exercise involves a clothespin, just a normal clothespin. You can find it where you buy laundry soap. and. You can do it with all your fingers opposing your thumb, but I'm just going to show you the pinky and the thumb because those are the most problematic on the violin. When you're doing this exercise, you want to make sure that you keep your fingers nice and arched. Do not let them cave in. Do not let your thumb bend backwards. That's going to be a temptation because it's stronger that way, but that's just giving in to the weakness you're trying to strengthen this muscle and this joint so that it doesn't cave in. I can't even make it do it. I've trained my hand pretty well so I almost can't do it on purpose anymore. Anyway, do not let them cave in. That will just make it worse. Okay, so it's like you're making a circle or like you're making an, an okay sign and simply squeeze and it's hard and sometimes the clothespin will twist and it might flip you in the face but you'll survive. Okay, now this is going to be too hard for a lot of you up front so go ahead and let your ring finger help the pinky. I'd start with the ring finger out here on the very end because the finger that's on the very end of the clothespin is going to be doing the most work. And do that till you can do it 30 or 40 times in a row. Don't rush this. Take your time because you can injure your finger if you push too hard and too fast. Okay, and notice everything's nice and bent. Get into some better light here. I'm not letting my thumb do that at all. Okay? And then eventually you can turn the clothespin around so that your pinky is on the outer edge. That puts a little more work on your pinky. And I wish the lighting was better here. And then finally, just do it solo with your pinky and your thumb alone. Do this on both hands because there's problems that exist on both your, your uh, violin hand and your bow hand from double jointedness. And most of them revolve around the thumb and the pinky. So um, I wrote an article on this exercise. The article is at www.reddesertviolin.com and it goes into a lot more detail and you might find some more helpful tips there and you can also go there to post a question and I'll make sure and, and answer it personally okay hope this helped I'm Laura with Red Desert Violin